I don't know whether this makes me sound like a rubbish farmer, but I actually hate um, going to the market and selling the sheep. So it's a general health check day today. You can see there's a few ewes that are lame. So we're going to look at that and just check them over, see how we're doing. So it is September the 11th today and we're doing a bit of sheep work. It's absolutely shucking it down with rain outside. It's been a really, really weird day. Sort of cold and about six about six degrees this morning and now it's throwing it down and it really feels like winter is fast approaching so yeah we've got a bit of sorting out to do we've got some ewes that we're not going to be breeding with so we're going to pick those off today and then tomorrow there's a sheep sale so we're going to send them to the sheep sale tomorrow um so we we'll just we might also send some others that are older so just a bit of a sort out older ones ones that we don't want to breed with um and until I've looked over them, really, I don't exactly know what I'm looking for, but I'll know once I start. Um, so good that we got the sheep in just before it became really wet because the ewes are dry, so it makes it a lot nicer to work with them. So we've been going round just slowly, one pen at a time, really, and we've identified a few down there, um, older ewes, ones that we're not wanting to breed with. And then just looking at this group here, and I picked this one out because she just looked a bit thinner. So I thought we'll have a look and we'll see uh, we'll see what a we'll see what her teeth are like and maybe you can see hang on <laughs> it's not very easy for me to do by myself might need your help Nick she's not got hardly any teeth at all which would explain why she's not in the best condition so it's actually best thing for her is really to call her because when the winter comes She's not going to be able to keep condition on and it's going to be hard going. Yeah. So these can go back out. Come on, Doris, lead the way. They don't want to go. These ones all look okay, fairly bright and fairly good condition. The sun has now come out, which is lovely, even though it's cold, but We've done what we needed to do with the ewes. We've sorted out. So we've got about 20 that we're going to take to the sale tomorrow. So now we've just got to get back everyone, all the sheep where we want them to be. We had a few lambs that kept jumping back in with the ewes. So back with the lambs again. I'm just going to move the lambs onto some fresh grass as well. So it's 6.45, it's a lovely morning, on the 12th of September, and we are off to Bakewell Sheep Market this morning. Got a new cow and calf, a new calf over there.
we get a lovely clear morning. Clear overhead, cool but not so crazy cool. And really nice. So we've got our tags in order and we're ready to go. I don't know whether this makes me sound like a rubbish farmer, but I actually hate um, going to the market and selling the sheep. Um, it makes me feel, makes me feel emotional. And Nick knows, cause we've been talking about it all week and every time we talk about it, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Um, because yeah, I don't know, just find it hard selling them. But in case people don't know how farmers feel, <clears throat> that's how I feel. I feel bad for selling them. So after we dropped the ewes off at the market, um, I was in floods of tears um i think just i think i'm just feeling emotional at the moment in general and um it's my birthday tomorrow and um sometimes like i just get very pre preoccupied by the fact that dad's not here anymore and um just yeah like almost can't can't really still believe or accept that he's gone um so i think it was kind of like just one of those days where I just felt emotional and being in that environment, selling sheep probably just wasn't the best thing. But anyway, they've gone, had to like switch on my practical brain, which is that, you know, you have to sell some. Um, and you know, the last thing you want is sick and dying and unhealthy sheep on your farm. So um, for a few of them, it was definitely the best thing to do. So we got the prices back and um, eight of them got £75, which I feel is not great. Um, um, and then the a few better ones, uh, five or so got 115 and the five got 100 So all in all, um, I would say that I feel neutral about the result. Um, probably feel like maybe it could have gone better. So, so not a particularly buoyant day on the farm, really, for me. Um, and so I've just been cleaning the shed up and having a bit of a tidy up. Um, and I'm probably just going to go and open a few gates up, just moving things around up the field because we moved all the sheep around yesterday and some of them are still shut up in, in different places. So I will do that and um, just have a little minute to process everything and think about what's happening next and um, just gather my thoughts and get ready to move on to the next challenge. Starting my birthday with had a cup of tea with a cloud inversion, a sunrise, and a almost frosty morning. There was ice on my car. Uh, I think it said two degrees, um, and the sun's out. It's an amazing day. So feeling really, really blessed already. And this is my view right now. Look at that.
stunning morning and there's even some hot air balloons. That would be nice. It's Saturday today and a bit of a crap day because this morning when I was checking around the sheep I found the ewe behind me here laid flat as I was walking up I thought something's wrong and as I got closer I could see that the side she was laid flat her eye had been pecked away so it was all bloody it looks like the eye is gone she's obviously in a lot of pain so I uh, brought her down to the farm giving her some pain relief and just tried to make her comfortable give her some antibiotics there's probably some other reason why she was laid flat like that and, and not able to get away from a crow or a magpie that would have done that to her eye. Um, but yeah, so whether she's going to pull through, I have no idea. But for now, I'm just trying to make her comfortable. Eating. She's been eating. This, this side is the eye where she's okay. And I'm not going to show you the bad side because it's just not very nice. And it's just, yeah, it's not what we need to see. So I'm just making her comfortable. She's been eating a little bit, but she's still tremoring and like, I don't know whether she's got meningitis or something like that. Um, but she's obviously very poorly and just makes me feel really sad. I think they're the worst situations, you know, things like where um, you feel like an animal's in suffering and you need to try and do whatever you can to help. And at first I was like, she needs to be put down. Um, but... Apparently they can recover from having their eyes pecked. In fact, a few years ago, we actually had a ram that lost his eye um, and the eye socket got sewn up. So I've put ointment around the eye for now. I think the main thing is just to try and get her, you know, survive the shock of it all and comfortable eating and drinking, but she, she can't stand. Uh, she sort of tries and every time she tries to stand, she falls, falls over. So something's not quite right. Uh, so... Just have to wait and see. I cream them on. <clears throat> so it's Sunday today. Um, this is the you who had her her other eye, which had been pecked out. Um, so she's eating. I keep having to sit her up. Obviously, something's gone wrong, but the fact she's eating and drinking, I think, is perhaps an encouraging sign. So, I'm going to finish the video there. So it's been a bit of a all-over-the-place week, really. Sold some sheep, had my birthday, had a new calf born, gave the sheep a health check, and then ended up having a ewe down. So, um... That's the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.